Hey everyone, Rebecca Taylor here, and I'm excited to be sharing with you today um, something I'm going to be trying and doing a little bit differently with regards to my planning uh, starting here uh, with the third quarter. So um, as you may have known if you've watched any of my other planning videos, I typically, or I have in the past, I'm um, just kind of kept everything in um, an A5 uh, ring system like this one, um, which has been fantastic. And I have been switching out my binders. If you um, saw my binder haul video, uh, this is the one I'm using for summer, a uh, very summery color. And um, it's it's just such a joy to use and I absolutely love it. But I um, actually kind of figured out that it was it was kind of a lot keeping track of everything um, just in in one planner with regards to all the sort of different aspects of life and, and planning from those. So what I am doing uh, for for Q3, what I started <laughs> is I um, went a little crazy with uh, the happy planners. I was just so excited about all the different um, happy planners that they had out for uh, with their July 2021 start date. And I kind of the, made the decision that I was gonna give it a try, sort of sectioning out different areas or needs or you know aspects of life that I plan for um, and keeping track of the sort of micro level of those things in and different planners. So I'm going to share with you today the ones that I bought and how I'm going to be using them. And I swear to you, this is not going to be a 45 minute video. All right. So to go ahead and, and just get started, um, and that timer will hopefully keep me on track and from going over, um, I decided that I wanted one planner and I wanted one of the, the larger um, happy planners for keeping track of like, Kids, home, dog, doctor's appointment, dentist appointments, um, different things coming up like leaf collection and getting windows washed and things like that in its own large planner. And so I chose um, this really cute sort of leopard print one to do that. Now I do have things on the July page, but um, here we can see uh, the August, the August, oh, I guess I have things in August too. And so basically in this planner, the only thing that goes in it is everything and anything that has to do with house maintenance, our many pets, our two dogs, our two cats, our two fish, um, any sort of chores that I need to get done around the house, um, anything that's going on with my kids, their schedule, their lives, uh, their school. Now my daughter is moving into her dorms, um, coming up here pretty soon which is going to be, of course, a big adjustment for mama and and dad too. We're both um, excited for her, but also it's it's gonna be tough to see her go, but there is still things we get to, need to kind of keep track of with regards to, you know, tuition and shopping for her dorm and, and things like that. And plus, you know, all of her, her doctor's appointments and, and things like that will still, we're gonna still keep track of that here, even though she is definitely transitioning into being an adult and um, she's doing a wonderful job of that. But so this is going to be family, home, you know, pets, that type of thing. Which then leads me to this guy. Um, now this one, I'm deciding to use it as a sort of finance tracker. And so this one is going to be any all bills that we have um, to pay, any income that's coming in, um, any budgeting that we want to do, any plans for trips, um, things that need to happen in and around the house. Strictly just finance, period. That's all that's going in here. Um, and this one is, you can see this sort of blocked out vertical layout. Oh, that's one thing I should sort of mention. Um, in this one, the weekly spreads, are these dashboard type spreads, which I actually find is really great for doing family planning because I, I like to be able to, so on, on this little um, weekly list here, I put kind of daily chores that like, what do I do on Monday? What do I do on Tuesday? And I'm really trying to be great about getting a routine around that in terms of like on Mondays I vacuum downstairs and Tuesdays is vacuuming upstairs and Wednesdays cleaning my bathroom. So just kind of um, keeping that. In addition, this one had this to buy list, which is perfect for like any groceries that we need, any things around the house and errands that need to be run. So I actually really do, 
that's probably why I chose this one. One, because it's bigger, and two, because it had the dashboard layout, which I think is really good for just keeping track of all that, that family stuff. Um, and with regards to this, I'm not entirely sure. I mean, the, the of course, monthly spread is great for putting all your bills in, and I'm just kind of doing it the week, the month, as the previous month ends, I go in and kind of filled in everything that we have coming up uh, for that next month that's due. But I would like to try to incorporate the weekly spreads into doing more budgeting and sort of financial planning, um, and especially for like things that we have coming up. Like we love to go on vacation. <laughs> um, of course, we love to ski in the winter time. And so just any of that, just kind of keeping track of, of those sort of things. And I actually think I might also use this to track um, expenses for my writing business. So this is actually gonna be a really great place um, maybe to get one of those, some sort of a pocket system or one of those envelopes that you can put into these, snap into these happy planners uh, to keep track of receipts. So that's what I would love to do with this. Next up, I have this one and this is where I am um, keeping track of sort of like health and and fitness and actually mostly mostly fitness and you know any sort of things that I would like to be better at in terms of like you know daily water intake that kind of thing I, I actually um, started a new thing where you know I have to drink 20 ounces of water before I even get out of bed in the morning and so I keep my 20 ounce hydro flask next to my bed um, and then so first thing in the morning I can just you know, drink that water straight down. Cause I, I live in Colorado and if you are not from Colorado or you haven't been here, we're pretty high altitude. We're 5,280 feet, which is why they call us the mile high city. Um, but along with the gorgeous views, we also have um, pretty, uh, you can you just get dehydrated like, you know, so quickly. And so I find, you know, every morning I wake up and I'm just like dying of thirst. And I've actually kind of figured out that I have probably been running around pretty dehydrated you know, most of the time and probably almost every single day. Um, and so I, it's interesting the, just the change I've noticed in just making sure I'm getting that water first thing every morning and at least starting off hydrated um, with my day and then of course trying to maintain that throughout the day. But the biggest thing I wanna track in here is exercising. And so uh, my husband and I, a, a few months ago, we actually recently invested in a Peloton. Yes, we have become those people. And I, I gotta tell you, I absolutely love it. And I have definitely figured out that the trick to me is having as few hoops as possible that I need to jump through between me and getting the exercise. So I've had gym memberships more times and canceled them more times than I can count. I've tried just running, but I actually have just now decided to be honest with myself that I just truly loathe running and I don't enjoy it at all. But I really have been enjoying the Peloton and I have been um, using the heck out of it. And so um, this month has been, see, you can see I haven't done it as much as I would like. My goal is to do it at least three, preferably four times a week. Um, I did have a couple doctor's appointments and things that I had to sort of prep for that, you know, I had to not eat and, and I could only drink liquid and things like that. So I was not actually feeling my best um, last week kind of thing. So um, this week has definitely been, has been much better and I am, I'm loving that. So this is, I'm just gonna use this as like exercise, healthy habits, that type of, that type of a thing. Um, and to go along with this one, I got the cute sticker pack that goes that goes with this as well. Um, so that's always kind of fun. This one had one that sort of matched it. And so I went ahead and, and got the, the sticker pack to go along with that one. Next, sort of along the same um, line, but not entirely. I this one was probably my favorite one. This is probably the one I wanted the most out of all the ones that I saw. We're starting in July, um, and this says beauty, although it's a little bit weird how they wrote it on there. But this one um, I'm using strictly to track things like mindset, mental health, um, meditation. I really just in in quarter three, I would really love to um, improve the frequency of my meditation practice. I actually find that when I do sit down to meditate, I usually do it for about 25 minutes. I, I really do have good results. I have very little problem quieting my mind, getting in the zone, really sort of feeling that connection with that universal energy. It's just really 
being good about sitting down and doing it. Um, and so again, like the exercise, this is something I would really love to start incorporating into my day. Um, you know, three to four times a week. And so this is what I'm using to track that. Also any, um, any thoughts with regards to just my mindset, working to, to stay positive, to feel good um, and healthy, uh, that kind of thing. But this one was just absolutely beautiful, I thought. And this was definitely the one I probably, if I was only gonna buy one um, already sort of pre-made planner, it, it would have been this one um, for, for the year. But I decided. I've, I've decided to try this new system. We'll see how it works, I don't know. But along with this one, they had, uh, again, another sticker pack that is absolutely beautiful to go along with it. And this journal, which um, I've actually started writing in the few, first few pages, and it's probably a little personal, so we'll kind of skip through theirs. But again, it has these three sectioned off um, areas. And just for kind of keeping notes, maybe doing a little journaling, about anything that maybe comes up during my meditation practice or you know just sort of my mindset where it is that week why i think maybe i'm feeling more positive not as positive um hopefully not but uh to kind of go hand in hand with that so i just thought that that was this was this was definitely my favorite combination so we've got that and now we come to uh this this guy and so this one your voice has purpose and so uh as you might guess this is the one i'm using to track my my writing um the actual words now this is i'm not using this for planning any um of the book that i'm currently working on or any of my you know books that are coming up but this is just basically word count did i get it done um when what time did i get it done how much happened um that day and you could see the last two weeks um, not as much as I said I was I've kind of been fiddling around with this new book that I started and it you know I don't know it always seems to take a little while to kind of get it up and going um, but this week I really have been hitting what I would love to do and that's the 2,000 words a day and I will say that wasn't it wasn't really kind of happening at the beginning of July but this week um, I actually did it although I don't have my little right sticker there yet um, I did it uh, Wednesday and I'm almost there for today too. Today is Thursday the uh, the 15th. Well, that's not the right sticker. That's that one. Um, and I am deciding to use these little, these are the HB90 stickers, which I, I definitely talked about in an earlier video. <laughs> it's kind of a little sticker reward system for myself to kind of mark off in my, um, my this planner when I have hit at least 2,000 words. Now, I set myself a really ambitious goal to have this new book completed by the end of July. And I'm not gonna say right now that I don't think that that's gonna happen because I, I whenever I sort of stop the goal in its tracks by saying, oh, that's impossible, that's not gonna happen, then it kind of, the whole thing sort of loses momentum. And so in order for me to finish this current book that I'm working on by uh, July 31st, I would need to actually write 3,000 words per day. And as we can see, I've been really hitting this sort of 2,000 word mark uh, this week. And it really is at that point in the book where it's kind of taking off and it's got a momentum of its own. So I'm excited about that. Um, today, actually, it's, it's not in here yet, but today I just passed the 26,000 word mark um, with this new book. And so, We'll, we'll see how this one goes. We'll check back in with this one at the end of the month and say, you know, how far did I get? Did I do it? I'm, I'm hoping so. Um, and then, so you might be wondering, well, what about, what about your lovely A5s? Because I have so many great covers for these, right? Um, but I have seen other people doing this and it's something that I've decided as well. Instead of using this whole A5 to track all of those different kind of you know life topics that I'm having now taken care of in each of these individual planners, I'm using this one as my my catch-all and as my daily list ma list maker. And so I went ahead and I bought the. Um, this is from um, Cloth and Paper. The monthly, these are the um, dated monthly spreads from, from Cloth and Paper. And then I went ahead and I was using the weekly spreads for a while from Cloth and Paper, but since I've now transitioned into the new, um, 
the new happy planners I'm not I'm not using those weekly spreads I'm just getting the daily the daily ones out and then using them as my to-do list so this is what I'm using to kind of I, I take the other planners at the like a Sunday before the week starts I'm like okay what do I have going on for each of the days in that week and then I'm also so if I've got things that are scheduled that day they go in here and then this is also my daily to do so what do I have to get done today what are my priorities what is my to-do list um, and so that's how I'm utilizing this this planner right now and I'm going to continue to do so because this one is very nice it fits right into my handbag or my tote bag if I'm taking um, that with me and so that's how this will continue to be used for now sort of like my my daily to do's my you know what's kind of going on across all of those other planners that I'm using to sort of do more of that that micro or macro planning in so that's what I've got going on for for quarter three with regards to planning and just some things that I've kind of changed up. Um, I'm definitely very excited to see how this goes. Um, I did find just kind of keeping everything in one place was a little, I don't know, it was just a little congested. It was a little, it was a little cloggy, I guess, <laughs> not very streamlined. And so, um, and I. I think it just felt a little a little kludgy for me in there. So who knows? Maybe I'll go back to only using the A5. Maybe I will find I, I don't use um, all of these planners quite so much. Um, we'll see. Oh, and I will share the other the other thing I got. I know you think I'm ridiculous, but um, but I just can resist. I um, also I do love Erin Condren um, so much, and I had purchased all those other happy planners and then of course Erin Condren came out with their her new um planners for for the year and I'm like gosh darn it I really would love to have an Erin Condren as well and it occurred to me that I had not really sort of gotten anything to plan um the sort of the social media marketing aspect because I have of course that other book uh, the Secret Next Door is releasing in November. And so we're in that sort of four month stretch right now leading up to that release. And so of course there's things um, that need to happen for that launch, um, planning with marketing, things for social media. And so that's what I'm using um, this, this planner for. So this is the monthly, um, let's find a blank one. This is the, the monthly planner from Erin Condren. And so you just get that month spread, which is nice. And this paper is, a, a, if you're a fan of Erin Condren, you know, just so absolutely gorgeous and heavy. And this is sort of perfect for that because here I can put down, um, you know, plan out what am I doing on Instagram? What am I doing on YouTube? That kind of thing. Have I written a blog post lately? Um, and then my goals with regards to all of that for the month. And then we just have the note pages behind it. So this is fantastic because I can brainstorm, I can write out topic lists. Um, what do I have going on that month? Where am I in the sort of release schedule that I need to, to be aware of? And when I ordered this one, I went ahead and paid for them to add the, let's get past all of these notes that we are not for sharing, um, the extra pages at the back. So I went ahead and just had them add the maximum number, which I believe was 80 extra notebook pages in the back. And so this is I'm going to be using for uh, social media marketing uh, for my my writing career and my Rebecca Taylor books dot com uh, blog and website and, and all of that stuff. So that's what I have going on for the beginning of quarter three um, uh, with regards to the planners that I'm going to be using. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, please come back if you like watching what other people are doing to keep their life straight and um, on track with regards to planning. And I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you.